Hello there the internet, Tough Monkey here. Hope that you're all well. Thank you very much for stopping by. Okay, today's video, as you've probably already guessed, is about security systems, home CCTV, uh, and in particular, TP-Link's TAPO system. I'm a big fan of TP-Link's uh, products. I've uh, used quite a few of them over the last few years, uh, smart sockets and uh, uh, Wi-Fi range extenders, routers, that sort of thing. Um, so I thought I'd give them consideration for my next security system. And uh, these are IP cameras. That means they connect via the uh, your, your wireless routers, unlike the old traditional CCTV systems that connect via BNC cable or by uh, network cables, which I've got a couple of down here. In fact, if I uh, switch to this uh, channel on my TV, you can see that this is my current Swan home CCTV system. Now, I've had um, Swan CCTV systems for quite some time now. In fact, this is my original Swan CCTV, which I bought in about 2013, I think it was, which was... So resolu low resolution, it looked like playing Donkey Kong on an old arcade, and, but that uh, unit failed around 2019, so I replaced it with this thing, which was the uh, 3K series, the 5 megapixel H channel um, system. It came with four cameras, uh, and uh, I've extended it to eight cameras, which are all on there at the moment. Um, and it's a really, really good system got no real complaints about it apart from it's a very very expensive system to set up and a bit fiddly because you've got to hardwire in all the cables um, that unit cost me what four years ago I think it's about 400 pounds I paid for the unit with four cameras and then I went ahead and bought a couple of uh, extra cameras a twin pack there was about I think they were about 130 pound at the time um, and I also recycled a couple of the old cameras uh, lower resolution cameras which uh, I've got one in my loft actually um, but you, you were looking at around about 600 700 pounds to get a full eight camera system put together which is a lot of money um that was four years ago they've since kind of been replaced by 4k systems uh, and they're a similar sort of money for for the units and for the cameras for the same same, same sort of number of cameras um but I've had a really good time with these cameras and I still continue to use them. But uh, when we bought our, bought, obtained our uh, border collie pup back about four years ago, we wanted some internal cameras to uh, uh, put around the house to um, just make sure she was up to no, no good when she was uh, a tiny little puppy. And we went ahead and bought these um, Victure cameras, which were, uh, we got them all from uh, Amazon back in the day. Um, in fact, we've got eight of them and we've also got two external Victure cameras, but uh, Amazon stopped selling them. Uh, a year or so ago because there was a few security issues about them shall we say um, back doors into the apps and things like that which is a shame because they, they were actually really really good cameras for the, for the time four years ago uh, they're low res by where we are in today's standards but they were really really good um, and to be honest I would have kept using them but we also changed our, um, our router uh, recently we upgraded our Virgin uh, Super up to whatever their recent, most recent one a five I think it is and these cameras refused to connect to them They'll still connect to my old AZU system, but they do not connect to the uh, current system. So I've had to look into replacing them. Um, now, over the last couple of years, I've, for Amazon, I do reviews. I've had a lot of systems to um, trial over the years. Uh, um, there's a few of them knocking about here, like uh, Kodak's uh, system, which is their uh, Infineo F882, which was um, not the best I've ever used before. Uh, this is a uh, an Arlo camera, which is an external camera, um, very expensive, but extremely good and uh, I've uh, appropriated that as a wildlife camera but I do pay a couple of pounds a month for a subscription because it's entirely cloud based you can't you can't access the uh, footage locally um, there's no um, uh, memory card slots in them it's uh, it's a bit disappointing but the actual camera is really 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 good but very very expensive if you wanted a four camera or eight camera system you're talking about 800 quid or 1600 quid depending on how much you want you're not going to pay that kind of money good cameras though but I wanted something to replace the Victor, which was, we used to buy them when they're on offer for about 20, 25 pounds. So acceptable sort of prices. Um, but I started looking at the Tapo system. These, these ones have been out, um, they started coming out filtering out a couple of years ago. And you've got to be very, very careful because you can still buy the older cameras. These are all the latest cameras of the various different styles. But if you go on Amazon, there you can still buy the older cameras. So you've just got to be very, very careful of the model numbers. Go on the um, TP-Link's website to just to confirm which ones you're looking at, because um, the the resolutions have changed. Now, uh, if I uh, if I, this this is one of the reasons I love the CCTV cams, um, because you can uh, access them from absolutely anywhere, and that, that's really when you want to access them is when you're not at home. Um, that's the Swan app. A little bit clunky at times, but not too bad. The Victure uh, app. <sighs> It does what you want it to do, but it's always been a little bit clunky. Now, 
the CCTV by Swan, all of those cameras, I'm seeing on my phone there exactly what I'm seeing there, and that's live. If someone was to walk past or a car walk past, you'd see it all there, all cameras displayed all at once. The problem with the Victoria one is you see all uh, like a uh, still freeze frame of all the cameras, but you don't actually see a live image. You've got to go into each individual camera to look at it, which is a bit clunky, that is. Um, but I don't know if this is right or not, but I suspect the Tapo uh, app, you can see them all live. Uh, the reason I'm saying that I suspect is because I haven't opened these yet. These these only got delivered yesterday. Yesterday is Friday. Today is uh, Saturday, February the 11th, and uh, I'm going to open these up in, uh, in a short while, and I'm going to put them around the house, and over the next week or so, I'm going to test them, and then I shall come back to you, and I'll explain my experiences with them, and uh, I'm hoping they're going to be really, really good. Hoping, because I've spent quite a bit of money. Um, but that's not a guarantee. That's the whole point of these tests. Um, what I've got here, I've got three different types of cameras. These two are the same, even though in different size boxes for some reason. Uh, this is the uh, TP-Link, what, what model number is this one? This is the C210. Just got to be careful because there's a, uh, a C100 and a C70. The C70 looks very, very similar, but it's not as high resolution as this. Uh, the C100, I think it's called, is um, it's, it's a static camera, whereas these have got to um, move them around, um, roll them around to um, zoom around the house. Uh, so those two are the same. Uh, they've been out for, on sale for a little while now, but this is brand spanking new. This is again an internal camera, um, but it's a slightly higher resolution. That's a three megapixel, that's a 2K, um, but this one's also got uh, uh, better AI uh, in integration. It uh, can detect and track animals and people, uh, which is quite funky that is, but it's very, very expensive for an internal IP camera, unless you get it on offer. Uh, when it started coming on set, um, first on Amazon, it was around about 65, 70 pounds. They've got it, got it on offer at the moment. I've just paid 39.99 for that. Those two, um, they I bought for £24.12 on offer. They're, when they're not on offer, they're more like £40 or something. Uh, when they are on offer, they're very, very similarly priced to the older ones. So that's why it can be a bit uh, uh, very easy to confuse which ones are which. That one, equally confusing. TP-Link make or have made three very, very similar looking cameras. This is the, where is it, the... Uh, the C320WS and this is a uh, what resolution is it? 4 megapixel and then they make a 3 megapixel and a 1020 I think it is uh, or 1080 sorry um, so you should be careful you're, you're buying the right one what I ultimately want to do is replace all of those 8 cameras and the 2 external ones with these I just want to make sure I'm, I'm, this is my own test for my own benefit to see if they're actually suitable for my means now they should be better quality the app should be better but the, the reason I've not bought them up until this point is because of their power delivery system. This camera, it uses um, the old traditional micro USB, as a lot of cameras do, a lot of IP cameras do, uh, either micro USB or USB-C. Um, the beauty of those is that it's, it's a universal cable. If the cam camera cable that came with the product isn't long enough, you just go out and buy, buy a new one. You can buy USB cables in any kind of length. However, TP-Link, in their infinite wisdom have decided to provide all of their cameras with their own DC power adapter and uh, plug you know, socket going into the back of it which means you're kind of stuck with that particular cable obviously you can get an extender cable but then you've got to get extension cables uh, extension sockets knocking about your house and the thing with security cameras is <clears throat> they're usually located in places where it's difficult to get a power cable to them for example, I've got a camera. This is mounted on the underneath the uh, the stairwell uh, overlooking the bottom step because that's where the dog likes to live. When when we go out, that's where she sits. So we've got one camera, and then we've got it's a four meter long cable I've got um, to connect it into the uh, into the mains. Uh, that's the one I plan to replace that with because that will track track store my dog uh, around all over the place. But the cable that's in there, I don't think it's going to be long enough. So I'm not actually sure how I'm going to wire this up just yet. We'll see. We'll see how we get on with that. Anyway, um, while I think about it, if I go back to my uh, my previous screen here, um, one of the confusing things with cameras is the megapixel count, whether it's a 2K, 4K, 8K, whatever it is. I've just prepared this because this will give you an indication of where your camera lies in the scheme of things. You've got the original 740, which is what HD is, uh, is classed as. 1080p is full HD. Then you've got the three megapixels. That's what this camera is. Uh, 2K cameras, which is what that is. Um, four megapixel cameras, which I don't think we've got anything. 
what did I say that one was? So that's a four megapixel camera. So these cameras here are these three here. Uh, five megapixels, which is what my um, four-year-old system is. Um, 4K is what we're all familiar with now. Um, you won't get many uh, IP security cameras like that. Now, like I say, the Swan systems have upgraded to that, but you're talking for four or five hundred pound for a four-camera system. Um, 12 megapixel, very uncommon. Swan make system that's uh, uh, 12 megapixels, but their four-camera system is about 800, 900 pounds. So lot of money and then obviously 8k is just starting to trickle into tvs i've not seen any cameras certainly not any um commercially viable ones at our sort of range so you can you can kind of forget about these 4k is starting to trickle in but for a realistic economical home system you're, you're looking at these sort of cameras here which is what we've got here um 1080p is what that one used to be and it's it's a bit grainy night vision's a bit clunky um so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to install these dotted around the house, I'm going to work out how uh, how I'm going to power them up and uh, see how we get on with them over the next week or so. Well, I'm hoping with the app we'll be able to um, set up uh, uh, scheduling and um, um, motion detection and uh, uh, warnings or messages that will send to, you, send to your phone. Uh, I'm hoping we can do that. Um, when I come back I shall hopefully be able to say, yeah it's been brilliant, hopefully, otherwise I might be going back. So. Uh, I shall get these set up and I shall come back and I shall tell you about my results shortly. I'll see you in a moment. Hey, Storm. I love you loads, but I'm trying to make a video here. Cool, off you go. Up. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay, I've had the uh, cameras a week now and uh, I thought you'd give you a bit of an update. Um, all I've done so far is I've actually set up uh, one camera just to uh, see out the... Uh, the interface was like, what the uh, environment was like, just see if it was actually suitable for us before I unpacked those um, and lost the option to uh, send them back to Amazon. Um, had it a week and so far, the camera itself, I've been really, really impressed with. Uh, the quality on it is superb. The app is pretty good and it does most of the things that I want to do. There is one irritant is that I tend to use my iPad for uh, looking at the cameras more than anything else. And when I'm sitting in here working during the day and the dog's somewhere around the house and I want to keep an eye on it, my iPad sits up here on this, uh, this little stand up here. And uh, it's quite nice to be able to just see all my, all my cameras all at, uh, all at once. In fact, if I uh, open up here, where is it? The, uh, the Home Safe app. There you go, and that's usually sat, sat up there, and I can see all the cameras uh, dotted around the house. That's the CCTV, um, the SWAN system. But on here, the TP-Link app, it's not actually the TP-Link, it's, it's the Tapo app. There are two different ones. One is for different cameras entirely, but if you go to the uh, Tapo app, there is my problem. I'll show, I'll show it you on the full screen, but uh, it's in portrait mode only. It's not in landscape mode. It only goes to landscape mode once you go into that mode there and it becomes a landscape mode it hasn't allowed me to do portrait mode for when i want to like move the things around look at the uh, detail i've got to turn the ipad like that and that's not ideal that is so irritating um especially since a lot of users are going to be doing the similar sort of thing uh, which also means it's also totally in portrait mode on uh, on the uh, iphone as well uh one of the things I do, I am happy with, is unlike some cameras that I've used and tested, if I go to the uh, uh, the Tapo app on here and click on there, you can see I've got live images from both cameras. One doesn't knock out the other. The the Arlo camera I've got, you can't operate it from two different cameras at the same, two different devices at the same time. It kicks you out of one. This doesn't do that, which is useful because both myself and my wife want to see what the dog are doing at times. Good. So from the camera's point of view, I'm happy to go with them. But as I suspected, the uh, the cable that came with it, it's a uh, it's a fixed, um, uh, what is it? It's a DC cable, which is a 9 volt DC cable. Uh, it's pretty standard for um, quite a lot of CCTV cameras, but it's not USB, so I can't swap it around. It's three meters long, and it's just not quite long enough for where I want to put it. Um, so I've had to go out and buy a, a twin pack of extensions. That, that was £8 off of, uh, of Amazon, so £4 per cable, that. Um, and that's additional to what I've got here. Plus, I've obviously got to buy um, memory cards. I don't actually have to buy memory cards because I've got loads of them. I'm going to take them out of the old cameras, but you're still going to have to buy them. If you're buying these 
brand new yourself and you've not got any other cameras, you're going to need the camera itself, you're going to need a SD, a micro SD card, uh, whatever size you want. I've got um, a couple of 64 gigs and a 128 gig floating around somewhere. Uh, okay. There it is, in fact. Uh, just a, it's for fish that out of the adapter. It's one of those tiny little ones. That's 128 to Toshiba. Uh, one that one is. Got a good deal on that. Um, and if you want to put it further than three meters away from a uh, uh, your your socket, then you're going to need some kind of extension cable. Like I say, get them on Amazon, four or five pound per per cable, uh, and and they do, they do work. I've, I've been running on there for uh, the last few days. It works a treat. So I'm going to open up all these other ones for you as well now. Like I said, I've only opened one of those. We had two of those, remember? Not open that. Not open that. And I'm going to get this one set up in the uh, position where I want to set it up. So uh, if I get my uh, my Swiss Army knife, and I'll show you what's in these uh, these boxes. So, not a huge amount in here. You got the uh, that's your DC adapter, so uh, that fits into the back of the camera, and that's a three meter cable. And that's your DC. Like I say, it's a nine volt um, DC adapter. If you because you can buy a, a new adapter with a longer cable, but it's cheaper to buy the uh, an extension cable that plugs into the extension cable, and then that plugs into the back of the camera. So that's your uh, your power adapter. This is your camera. Get in here for the first time. There we go. So that's your camera. Um, you get some little mounting kit there to attach it to permanently, and that, uh, that snaps into there. Uh, the memory card goes in there. There's a reset button as well in there. So you put your memory card in there. You can't you can't manually move that. You're not breaking it when you're doing that. Uh, and that's your uh, actually when you uh, if you're mounting it up on high if you want to put it up on a shelf because of the shape and design of these things it'll only go down so far you can see, see that it only points so far down so if you do want to mount it up on high it's best to turn it around like that and then you've got full articulation looking looking down um, and uh, you use the fixing or what I tend to do and what I did with the old ones is I've got some um, uh, velcro strips uh, command velcro strip type things and they work treat they do um, so there you go. So that's your, that's the uh, 210, I think that one is, is that one? I always forget what the numbers are. Yeah, that's the C210, that one. Put that one to one side. Then we've got the new funky one. This is the uh, one that's only just come out, which is the whole reason for me uh, doing this review in the first place. It's the C225. This is the 2K uh, version. So I've not talked in one of these yet, but absolutely no idea. I'm assuming it's going to be very, very similar inside. Let's have a look. So, what have we got in here? Oh, you get some. Oh, yeah, you get a, um, a guide for, for drilling on your uh, when you, uh, your mounting thing up on there. Uh, it looks like a very, very similar DC adapter. Um, yeah, that's a no. I think it is. Oh, my. Ooh, hang on a second. That's, 12, that's a 12 volt one, that one is. Interesting, right. Uh, I think my extension cables will work with that. That should be all right. Yeah, I think they're 12 volt though. Yeah, 12 volt. Yeah, that's all right. Right, what else have we got in here? Another uh, mounting little thing, and more mounting screws and roll plugs. And then, and then, then there is your camera. So let's roll it up. Again, there's the uh, memory card slot and a reset button. We've got a physical uh, button to uh, put it into privacy mode if you want to. It's uh, uh, something that the others don't have. Uh, and yes, you can you can mount that up like that, which is what I plan to do downstairs. All right, so that's that's that one. Okay, cool, brilliant. And then the final one, which is the what's the model number on this one? The C three twenty WS, which is the top of the range outdoor one for now. Anyway, uh, do we have any? So that there we go. IP66 waterproof, marvellous. A few more instruction gubbins in there. Mount adapter. Is that the same one? What's that one? That is a. Let make these things easy to read. That's a nine volt one. So that's the same as the, uh, the the little one. Not the same as that one. Okay. Some more mounting things, that's to keep things uh, dry when you're connecting them all up. Then, 
there is the uh, external one with a lens protector. There's one other lens protectors. Uh, these are your, your antennae, get connected to your Wi Fi. Um, with, with these, you can either connect it via uh, power over Ethernet or the standard uh, connection. Now, fortunately, the, the camera that I'm replacing, the old um, Victura one, has the same socket as that, so I don't have to rewire it, which is useful. Um, but there you go. They are the three top of the range cameras as they stand from uh, TP-Link Tapo. The um, the C210, which is the internal um, articulating point and uh, point and tilt one. The 225, did I say it was? Which is the 22K brand spanking new one, and the um, top of the range outdoor one. I say for now because they, uh, I've just noticed this week that there is a, um, a new PTZ, point, point tan and, pan, tilt and zoom camera. Um, one of these ones that uh, sort of suspended and it moves around like on a ball and uh, can also zoom in. Now they are great, I've actually got one out in the garden which I've tested for Amazon, which is a, um, that's a 4K one I think that is. It's either 2K or 4K and it's really, really good, but it was about 180 quid, something like that. Um, the one from uh, Tapo TP Link is somewhere in the 60, 70 pound region. I think it, I think it might be 60 pound. Uh, it's not out yet. It's out later in February. But, 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 it's only a 1080p. It's only a uh, uh, standard HD quality one, which I thought was a bit odd. It's, it seems to be their first foray into doing one of these um, uh, pan, tilt, and zoom type ones. Uh, and they've gone for a lowest possible quality. Uh, resolution one so it's uh, it's below that one when I showed you that, uh, that format uh, earlier on in the video or last week as I'm looking at it now uh, it would it would be sitting right right down here somewhere whereas you'd expect it to a new brand spanking new one would be up here somewhere so whether that's just them doing a, a dip in a toe in the water and hopefully bringing out a better one later on um, I'm not gonna bother with that one if it's gonna be that uh, that low res I wouldn't mind trying it see what it's like but especially the same sort of resolution as the cameras I'm, I'm replacing, so there'd be no point for me to do it. But there we go, they are the cameras. I'm gonna go and set these up now properly, now that I've committed to buy them, and uh, see how we get on. I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, it's been two weeks. Long enough, in fact, for me to have a shave. Don't worry about continuity. What are my findings? Well, extremely positive. So positive, in fact, that if you remember at the start of this video, I had four cameras. I had two of the C210s, one of the C225s, the new one, and one of the external C320s, I think it's called. Uh, well, now I have six. I've, uh, in fact, I've got four of the C210s now. Um, that, after that first week, uh, all I'd done was use one of the C210s. I just wanted to get used to the, uh, uh, the app, make sure the ecosystem was suitable for my needs, uh, and that the camera was, uh, was up to scratch before I committed to um, uh, opening all the other boxes, putting them up, and uh, having to um, keep the purchase rather than send them back to Amazon. Um, but after the first week, I was I was happy enough that everything was good. So um, that middle weekend, last weekend, um, I put up the um, the C two two five, which is uh, that camera there, um, the that C two ten there, and I put out the uh, the external one, which is uh, that camera there. Um, and I was that impressed with it, and uh, the app was doing everything that I wanted it to, that uh, I went out and bought a couple, of, a couple more of the uh, C210s. Um, I did think long and hard about buying uh, a couple more of the uh, C225s. They are a little bit more expensive, but they are a better camera. But for where I want these, the uh, C210 was perfectly fine. So all I wanted it was one on the uh, on the kitchen door, and one on this uh, this position here, which is where uh, our dog Storm her crate is. Uh, that that storm there on the uh, bottom step at the moment. Uh, this is playing over AirPlay from my uh, from my uh, iPad at the moment, um, and this is doing exactly what I want to do. As I said previously, my my iPad sits up here during the day, and that's the camera view that I wanted on my previous app. Uh, it would only be in uh, in portrait mode, so I was having to look like that at the uh, at the screen to see the uh, see the cameras, or I could only have one on at a time. And if I did have multiple on at a time, it was a, it was a fixed image. Um, you could only watch a live image when you clicked on one of them. But that is a live image of all screens that are on there. You can only have four cameras on the screen at once, which is a bit of a shame. Because my CCTV, the Swan one, that one I can have, uh, I think I can have up to eight. Well, it's, it's an eight channel system, so I can have up to eight on the screen at once. This you can only have four. You have to swipe across like that and you have to wait for them to it refresh and reconnect. But it's pretty quick. Um, 
but I have been really, really impressed. Not just with the really, really good camera, but with the um, the older C210, the three megapixel one, which is still an extremely good camera. And if you will notice here, these are all the Victor cameras that I've now taken down and replaced and uh, are going to be going to a new home. In fact, I'm, I'm giving them to my dad because he's already got a couple of these for, for his dog. Um, and that's what these are brilliant for. These are really, really, really good for uh, keeping track of your pets, keeping track of your children, uh, having as baby monitors, that sort of thing. Um, obviously also good for, for home security, CCTV. Um, one of the things you have to consider if you're gonna use a uh, an external one like, um, like that one is because the memory card is contained within the unit, Theoretically, if uh, if it was within, within reach of a prowler, burglar, whatever, they could take the uh, security camera down, rip it off the wall, do whatever, and uh, they've got the memory card, so you can access what was on it. Um, but if it's up in a high, high enough position, I won't, won't think that's going to be a problem. But generally speaking, having a memory card on board is so much better than the cloud. I have a cloud-based system with the, the Arlo. It's really, really good, but you have to pay, pay a subscription. So it's a continuing cost, and obviously subscription is going to go going to go up in price just as everything else is going up in price. But get yourself some uh, some you know you need a 16, 32, 64 gig memory card, um, and uh, they will do you very, very 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 well. I've just taken the memory card straight out of that slot from there and put it straight in there, so I'm not have to buy anything else. Um, what have I had to buy though? The um, the extension cable for me to put that camera up and wire it up. I'll, I'll show it on the screen in a moment. Um, it uh, it needed a about a four meter long cable to get to the socket and you only get three meter long cable so that's why i had to go out and buy a uh, uh, an extension cable they are readily available on amazon like i said previously it cost me about uh, eight pounds for a pack of two um i've used i've used both of them as well um i used uh well, oh I, I used it on this this camera as well because it wasn't a uh, socket uh, uh free i had to uh, run it uh, around the back and down and underneath the uh, the unit where a socket was was available so i've had to use two extension cables so a bit of extra expense and that was that was one of my main concerns about buying them because of the uh, it has a dc uh, adapter to power it rather than a usb which are a bit easier to play with um, which I still criticise, but I've gotten, gotten around it. And as it turns out, it's worked out pretty well. Um, my other concern was going to be the app, but in general, the app has been really, really good. Uh, I mentioned previously uh, last week, uh, that part of the video, that it's a bit of a pain that it's generally in portrait mode. If I, uh, if I come, out, come out of this, it, 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 it turns it into portrait mode. So on my iPad, as I'm looking at it in landscape mode, I've got to, got to tilt my head. But when I'm actually looking at the uh the footage which is what i want to be doing when it's up on there it's in landscape mode everything's cool and that's that's really really useful the um because it's all four screens are live that was what i really really want i've not come across a security system uh an ip security system that had that um so i am really really pleased with that and i'm happy to stick with the ecosystem and i will continue to expand the tapo system i've got a couple of other cameras outside which are still on the victor system um which uh, i just want i just want to get rid of it so um i'm just waiting to see what i mentioned previously that uh, tapo are making a a dome cam a point point town a point tilt and zoom cam relatively low low resolution but i've got to wait to see what it's like and then make a decision on whether i get a, another one of those or not um one thing i did note when i was installing this i i did consider putting that camera in that location there uh it's mounted upside down on a bulkhead with it with these things you can mount them upside down there's a function in the app um which inverts the camera so you can put it either in in that view or that view that's straightforward to do um but when I put that up on the uh, on the bulkhead, so up, up like that, I found that the the dome didn't tw uh, twist around quite as much as these cameras because these ones you see that it's almost pointing straight down. Those ones don't do that, and it's worth noting that it only goes so far up. So when I tried to install it up there, I was only the camera was coming to about there, and I couldn't see the bottom step where the dog. I don't know if you can see that. the dog is currently sat on the bottom step, which is where she always sits, and the camera is pointed and located in a position that um, can see the dog, but also can see the bottom step of the uh, the door as well, because that's where she also uh, occasionally sits. Um, that camera it didn't have the range to do that so which is why i ended up putting that because that does have the range it's got it got further travel on the uh, on the on the twist on the on the dome of it um so that 
really really good but for these cameras here I, I didn't really need anything further so that one is perfectly fine um, the um, the tracking the recording of it it uh, it tells all of them tell you when a person has uh, gone past uh, it'll differentiate differentiate people and it'll differentiate what is just uh, motion the the actual parameters that you can set up the options available to you when the app are really good they they rival uh, my Swan CCTV system and probably even better than the Arlo um, they're really really good you you can set up um, uh, your boundaries and uh, privacy zones so if you've got something uh, say I didn't want anything being recorded in that area it'll you can blank that out so you can just record that and that will just be black on the uh, on the recording which is really useful if you've got neighbors who don't want their don't want being overhanged by one of your cameras it's, it's, it is a good function um, all the alarms you can schedule them um, you can schedule them for uh, full motion so it's 24 7 recording which is what I've got it set to or you can have it uh, set to certain times and you can also um, uh, set up when the um, uh, uh, the messages to you if you ever, ever get any alerts uh, when you first set the cameras up you'll be getting alerts all the time to your uh, to your mobile phone uh, if you don't want that you can have to turn them off or you can schedule them between a certain time which is really really good um, and that applies to all of these um, because it uh, detects people it doesn't hasn't got the ability to uh, say that's a person or that's an animal which the Arlo cam which is really really good it just detects them all as a person which end of the day it's still giving you an alert um, and it's picked up the, the outdoor camera, that one there, that has picked up plenty of wildlife across this last uh, last week. Um, unfortunately, I've not had any foxes come through the garden, which is quite rare. So I was hoping, hoping to show you a fox, but uh, nothing, nothing's come through yet. Uh, but it's picked up the uh, local cats walking through, and um, uh, you'll, uh, when you go to uh, see a recording, in fact, I wonder if I can do it on, on here. So uh, if I pick up that one when it's refreshed, go to that one there. So that's your, um, I have to go, guys, here we go. You go to playback and memory, and you can see on here, there's little little green bits here. That shows you where some activity is. Uh, but you've also got these, all these down here showing people, motion events, um, things that have come into the, uh, the intrusion area, as it says. So if I was to click, uh, say, at uh, 10.57, this is probably going to be me or the dog. In fact, it is. It's the, uh, I went out with the, uh, the dog earlier on to uh, kick the ball around. So it's, it's detected me right up in the far corner of the, uh, the far corner of the garden. And if I click on this one, you'll probably see the, there you go, it's me, me kicking the ball around for the dog. And uh, that's been detected as a, as a person. That the previous one was a motion detection. So really, really good. I'm extremely impressed with what, uh, what that's been able to, uh, to do for me. So if I go back this wrong, it's down there, it's multiple screens, there it is. And see, it refreshes really quickly as well. So, um, it's just extremely, extremely good. Compared to the previous Victoria one, it's night and day. It's so much better. Um, another thing I want to notice, occasionally, not all the time, but occasionally after put, having the screen on for a long, long period of time, you'll just get a little pop-up come up saying, uh, in fact, it's odd because it says, um, you've been viewing this for five minutes. Do you wish to continue? I have a council or continue. I've not seen an option to get rid of that, but it's not constant. Like for, for example, last night, my, my dad and I went for a game of snooker, so we were playing snooker for two hours. Um, uh, my wife was at work, so the house was empty, and the dog was on, on, on her own for, uh, for a couple of hours. And I had this propped up on my mobile phone on the uh, on the scoreboard at uh, playing snooker, so I could see what she was doing. She spent the entire evening just sat there. And um, every, perhaps, 20, 25 minutes, so this little message popped up, and I just cancelled it. I didn't continue, continue the recording. Uh, I understand why that would be. It's because if you're on a on your on your mobile or you've got restricted internet access, it's going to be eating into your data. But <clears throat> it'd be nice to have that option in this because this in, in this day and age, I mean, I've got unlimited Wi-Fi on my five five uh, G Wi-Fi, <coughs> not Wi-Fi five G. You know what I mean? Um, and I've also got unlimited one gigabyte internet in here. So I've not got those kind of restrictions. So it'd be quite nice to be able to just say okay, I don't want those those messages popping up on my screen every so often. See, see Doc, it says five minutes, but it's not always five minutes and it's not always all the time. See, it seems, I've, 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 had, I've had this propped up here all week and it's, it's probably happened maybe a dozen times across the entire week. Just seems a bit odd, but um, I've not seen an option to get rid of it. So TP, if you are seeing this, if there is an option, please tell me where it is. If there isn't, could you please put one in? Thank you very much. Uh, but overall, really, really impressed. Um, 
And I'm a bit torn actually because I'd almost decided from the moment of opening the box and realising the cable was a DC cable uh, to power it and it wasn't going to be long enough and then seeing that the app was in portrait mode to start with I'd already decided I was going to give it four stars and nothing more and I was going to work backwards from there it could drop down to three stars but I've been so impressed with the quality of that camera the the foot the the resolution the footage uh, the, the the ability to set up the recording schedules and the alerts and uh, mask off the privacy zones the fact that I can see everything live all at once um, but I've been massively impressed and I think really it warrants a five star the the fact that the cables a DC cable and it's not long enough for my requirements for a lot of people most people it's going to be perfectly fine it would be nice if it was USB it, it's it's a potential improvement for Tapo I don't think they are going to do that because they've got so many cameras and they continue to do uh, use the same um, method to power in it but the app is really really good other than the portrait I'm really really impressed with that and I've got to give it five stars I really do um, I really am that impressed with it the if you can find them when they're on offer as I'm doing this review now they are all on offer which is why I bought them while I've had the opportunity um, the C210 is commendable um, it's the cheap the cheaper end of the range but it's it's doing a grand job it's it's really really good that is a better camera but it's also a bulkier camera a little bit more expensive um does it justify the extra price uh, i don't know if it does or not it's 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 extremely good it's a five star product would i buy it over that one clearly i haven't i've gone out and bought so many more of those that is an exceptionally good external camera and i'm I'll probably buy at least one more of them, maybe even two. Uh, so yeah, I highly recommend it. Really, really good. Well done, Tapo.